We lead things off right now with one of the top teams, well, the entire country, the Ukaipa Thunderbirds. Join us, join us live here on the Inland Sports Show. And guys, uh, we've got Ralph Grajeda, we've got Jacob Reimer, Luke Schur, and uh, we might even have one more very special guest uh, a little bit later. But Coach Grajeda, let me start with you uh, up in the corner there. Man, year in and year out, you guys are in the hunt for CIF titles. You're nationally ranked. You're getting invited to some of these big-time high school baseball tournaments. What's the secret? How, how do you keep that longevity of success and just continuously being one of the top programs? Uh, we just try to consistently work hard every single day. Um, I really haven't changed too much in like 24 years of coaching. So, I mean, the practices vary, but it's kind of the same stuff. I mean, if anything, it's just consistently how we go about our business. Um, we're pretty we're pretty lucky to have the type of kid that we have at Ukaipa. Um, it's a baseball town. Um, the kids are really bought in the five years that have been here. And in year five, I really think we got something special. I mean, we're very good in the senior class, but we're also very good in the junior and the sophomore class as well. And it's just, you know, you know, for me, it's a culmination of things. So I'm just very excited to be a part of it. Well, Coach, let me go back to you uh, for this question as well, because I, I'm a Redlands guy. I live very close to Ukaipa. I mean, Ukaipa's it's big, but it's not really that big. But you guys still produce all of these Division I caliber baseball players. Is it, is it about the, the youth baseball in the area? Is it about the travel ball? I mean, what, what's, what do you think is the, you know, kind of builds towards that high school varsity level that these guys are just ready to go? I think it's a lot of things. I mean, we take a lot of pride. I mean, we do have a lot of talent, and it is a baseball town. And, but we're involved in our little leagues. I mean, our coaching staff, myself, we, we are very involved in our little leagues. We have Ukaipa National Little League across the way from our field, Ukaipa American down the street. We, we reach out to them. Um, you know, we want them to be a type of Thunderbirds, and we make that known. We're very proud of our, our baseball in the town. And then the other end of it, in the fall, we you can ask the fellas here. We, we get after it in the fall. We have long falls. It takes a while. It, I feel we prepare them very well. Um, it's probably because the ex-college coach and me, I don't know any other way to do it. It's a bit of a grind in the fall. And we just really work hard in developing our kids. And, um, you know, there's a bar that was set. And we just we just go after that standard, and that's kind of what we've done. We don't really back off of it, and you know, it, there's tough days for them, and I, and I have my hats off to them, and we get after them. But you know, they've done a really good job, and they've got you know, for example, today we've had this is about the fourth or fifth time we've had a pro guy come out. We threw some BP to um, a couple, two, three guys. Two of them are on here right now, and you know, I think there's um, I think there's some trust in the community about what we're doing at Ukaipa, and particularly with college coaches. And at the same time, a credit to them. I mean, they're they're working, you know, when once they leave the field, they're still working. I mean, they're they're getting in the weight room, they're hitting, they're um, you know, doing their due diligence to be as good as best as they can. And that's just a that's a testament to them. All right, coach, let me go to some of your guys who have also checked in. Uh, on my screen at least, we've got Jacob Reimer, bottom left hand corner, and and, and Jacob. You know, when, when you guys go to practice, whether it's through fall ball or getting ready for the actual spring season, you know, Coach, like he said, he runs it like a college program. Do you feel like what you guys do in September, October, November, January, February, that's kind of when champions are built? Is that safe to say? It's it's perfectly safe to say. It's it's how you get ready for the long season. It's It's how you find out what you have, what your weaknesses are, how to get rid of those weaknesses. It's just... It's just this this time is really the most important time for for any team. And I feel like we succeed and excel really well at this at this point in the season or timeline, I should say. And that leads to success with us all the time. So. Yeah, the season's here. The season's upon us now. If you guys go out there and prove it, Jacob, I'll go back to you uh, again on this question. Um, the CIF Southern section has their preseason polls. And for me, it's like Christmas morning, man. I love seeing those and, you know, where the preseason polls are ranked. Do you guys worry about that much? I mean, obviously, you, you look around the dugout. You guys know you're one of the best teams in the Southern section. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But do you guys get caught up in that? Or is it just go out and beat Miracosta, wh whoever's next on the list? Yeah, when we get caught up in it, it, it turns bad. So we really we need to focus on just going out and facing our opponent we're playing that day and not let ourselves be, play against the game, I should say and not let us beat ourselves or get too caught up in the rankings and think, oh, we got to do this or that and so on. So, All right, great job, Jacob. We also got Luke Shearer here. And Luke, let me ask you about a little bit about last season, man. The Citrus Belt League is always 
So much fun in terms of that league championship race. I know you guys were, what was it, one game better than Cajon and Citrus Valley. Uh, Redlands East Valley was two back. So, I mean, there was a lot. It was top heavy. There was a lot of good teams near the top. What do you think it's going to take for you guys to, to hold off those other schools and win another CBL crown and, and really build some momentum to make a push for a Division I CIF title? Um, I really think we just got to go out there and do what do what we do, really. I mean, we we practice since, you know, the first week of school. So we just got to trust that the work you put in is going to be enough and then go out there and, you know, not beat ourselves, really. Now, Luke, when you look at this Ukaipa lineup, this batting order, they're all a bunch of Division One guys. And, you know, Coach, I'll probably ask you this question next, but, Luke, this one's for you. Do you feel like whether you're the number three hitter or the number nine hitter, they're probably interchangeable. All you guys can swing it. All you guys can hit. Do, do you guys, you know, look at the batting order and say, oh, yeah, I'm leading off today? Or does it even matter because you guys can all hit? Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we all – we all get put over the fence and we can all drop a bunt if we need to. Like we all do what, whatever we have to do to just pass to the next guy and then trust that they'll do it too. Keep it going, right? Keep that line going. And coach, let me go to you. I mean, that's probably the best problem to have in the world when you have a bunch of division one college guys in your high school lineup and thinking, okay, well, I, maybe this guy will lead off today. Maybe he'll bat eighth. I don't know, but you, you have a lot of guys who can swing it. We really do. It, we're super offensive, but like Luke said, I mean, we're trying to run an offense and, you know, you can have guys, you can't live by the three run home run. And I know that's uh, enticing to a lot of high school kids, but they're, they're, they're bought in. They're really, really bought in. And if we need to have an execution at bat or bun a guy over or hit behind a guy or, or do those types of things, they're going to do it. And they do that because they know that we're going to win a ball game that way. So um, they're bought in. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Well, Coach, let's talk about some of these uh, these tournaments you're going to. Um, of course, the Boris Classic is, is such a big deal in the state of California. And then tell me more about this NHSI. I'm not super familiar with it, but tell me more about that tournament as well. Yeah, I wasn't really either until the last couple of years. I mean, we had um, we had a couple we have a couple of players in the program right now that came to us as freshmen that had um, USA Baseball experience, and, and Daniel Arambula and also um, Owen Egan. But this past summer, we had five kids play in USA Baseball events. And, you know, from Jacob Reimer, PDP, you know, I'm going to probably mess them up right now. Um, Danny Rambula, the uh, was it NITS. And then um, Owen Egan was on the, I want to say, the development team as well. I'm missing a couple of people. Busby, we have a freshman, Trevor Busby, that played on a freshman, I mean, not freshman, a 14U development team. I know I'm missing one other person. Who am I missing, Jake? I'm missing one more. But we had five kids, and so... I learned more and more about this tournament. And so, you know, I, I you know what, I thought, you know what, if we're ever going to go, this was going to be the year. And so just with the talent that we have the, and the spread out pretty good as far as in terms of class, that this would be the year. So I emailed them out. I kind of, you know, we had to lay out and create a, um, an argument, if you will, you know, why we should be in this. And I think the body of work that we've created in the last five, four, going on five years, it warranted it. And they gave us the opportunity and our kids are fired up. I mean, you don't, it's a once in a lifetime type of thing. And we're just really excited to be a part of it. It's going to be a grind, but I mean, geez, you get to play some of the best teams in the country and you don't go find out what you're made of and just, just a great opportunity. Coach, is, is it safe to say it's kind of like the unofficial, you know, national championship tournament for, for high school baseball? I think it's a piece to it. I mean, the way, the way California works, I mean, you know, when we when we when we played Cyprus in in the quarters in nineteen and they beat us and they won a CIF title, and that was uh, a lot of people think Southern California baseball is the best in the country, so they were named national champs. I think this is a piece to it. I think you need to win a sectional title. On top of that, um, that's just my humble opinion. You know, the goal for us was was to get out there and show that we can play and and and, and play and be with those teams and be considered you know, national rank and those types of things. So for us, I think the goal is to to win our league, um, to be one of the best teams in the Inland Empire, and to go into, into the playoffs and win Division One as far as we can. And then after that, you know, it's out of our control. But I think that's a piece that uh, can contribute to that. Absolutely. It's a great opportunity. And Coach, let's, let, you know, you just mentioned it. Let's finish up on this. You know, obviously the Boris Classic is a big deal in the state of California, maybe the unofficial, you know, state champion. Uh, although I think we're having a state tournament this year, right, for, for high school baseball. Is that it being introduced now? What's that again? 
high school baseball in California, are they having a state tournament now at the end of the season after the section? Uh, yes. Yeah, they are. To my knowledge, they are. So if you reach, it doesn't matter the division, to my understanding, if you reach the semifinals, you're automatically in the state tournament. So there will be a state tournament. Last year was kind of like a, a tune-up to this year. So I think it'll it'll take on a bigger, uh, uh, just a bigger picture, if you will, for high school baseball in the postseason. You know, but in, in my estimate, Coach, you know, if you can win the Division One CIF Southern Section Championship, I don't know if there's a better section or, or area of baseball in the country. I know there's other parts that would probably make a case, but, man, if you win the Division One title in the Southern Section, you're kind of my state national champ. I mean, is that is that safe to say? Yeah, I can't speak for other states, but I tell you what, it's a gauntlet. It's, it's a talented division. Um, I mean, when you look at the rankings and you look at the national rankings, there's a lot of Southern California teams in there, California teams, and, you know, it, it's it's a gauntlet. And for us to be in that mix is just an honor in itself, but it is a very, very deep and talented division for sure. Well, Coach, listen, I, I really appreciate the time. Jacob, Luke, you guys as well. Tell Carl uh, Herrera, a.k.a. Carter. Uh, we'll call him Carl on this show. Uh, tell him we missed him. He popped on for a second, and then he bounced off. But I saw him for a second. But, uh, listen, guys, best of luck. I know the season begins. Uh, is it this Saturday, right? It's Maricosta for you guys? Maricosta. We're in the PBR tournament, so we're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, Coach Ralph Grajeda, Jacob Reimer, Luke Shearer, thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Inland Sports Show, and uh, we'll have to catch up again at some point during the season.